let's start up with the generator. This is the generator box over here. This is the main breaker. This will show you the hours on the generator right now. I just say it's 24, 28.9 right now. This box has the battery. There's a latch up there. Check it out. The battery connection in here. Most battery goes to the terminals at the back. That's the limit switch. Oh, sorry, that's a wheel spin sensor. This is the transport switch. It needs to be off on there when it's transporting. This is the light head box. Now all the connections for the lights up over here. I'm gonna take a shot up there. This is the main drop box. This would comprise of the air compressor, the hydraulics, the battery charger, the main battery, and the connections for electrical stuff. Also, there would be a beacon light at the top. Next to it is our control panel. This is where you would operate the whole thing from. Got all the buttons over here start, stop, hydraulic up, down, lights on, lights off, the compressor. This is the safety pin that goes all the way down there comes up and this is the lock and position this is our ADS auto transfer switch uh, when you need to put your own power into that uh, and kill off the generator uh, you can put it from there uh, this is our main breaker set right now it's all on that's off that's on again. Uh, this is our fuel tank. That's the uh, amount of fuel we have in it right now. Those are the fuel gauges. These are we have six jacks on the sides. There's one. There's the second. Three on each. And one up over here. These are the extenders. Once we level the whole thing up, we do the extension. So the deployment would start up when uh, we get everything down on the earth. Uh, first thing to do is take all the jacks. We got six jacks on uh, three on each side of the trailer. Level them. It's a manual crank level. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you can start leveling. Them. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah.
on down. There are five uh, switches, limit switches. This is the first, this is a transport switch. The second would be near the base. There is one switch up over here. This is the safety pin switch one. And that would be the safety pin switch two. When you pin this in, both of them should press. Show it again. And lock it up there. Okay. The fourth switch is right over here. This is a base switch. And this thing would hit the base switch. The master would hit the base switch when it's upright 90 degree. Okay, to start up everything. In, the keys would be inside the control box. Open that key with the flat head. Those are the keys. Close the control box. Put the key in. Turn it in on position. Wait for the system to boot. Once it starts booting, you will see a red light blinking on that beacon light. All right. Before running anything else, make sure the transport latch is taken off. So let's do that. Also check the safety pin. It should be all the way outside and it should not hit any of the safety pins which is up there. Now when we are ready, turn the hydraulic up. That's 90 degree all the way up. The next step is to take the safety pin, put it through that two holes of the mast, all the way in and lock it down. Okay, start up the for starting up the generator, push the stop button for five seconds so that the generator can preheat. Okay, start up the generator. 
just first of all check if the main breaker is off. Let's go. The main generator breaker is off right now. Once it's off, you can start the generator up there. The safety pins all, all the way in. For starting it up, put the generator stop button for 5 seconds to, to preheat the generator. And then put, push the start button. Once it started, turn on the main breaker. Now we can start extending the whole light mast. That's great. Once the light mask is all the way up and you want to turn the lights on, go to the breaker box. First to fourth breaker would be the lights. Turn all them on. Close it down. Close out the light controls. Turn that on. You can see the light up there. the wind speed sensor at the top so to auto uh, when it's higher the wind is higher than 40 ps uh, 40 miles per hour it will auto retract the whole mast and uh, it won't go up again so at that point of time you would see an error light over here all right so uh, turn off the lights just turn off the knobs all in off position the lights. Turn on, open that up, turn off the breakers when you are not losing the lights. All we gotta do is, uh, let's go. Uh, now do you want me to lower the mast? Sure. Okay. is all the way down, take the safety pin, get it all out, lock it in that position, 
get the mass down, press down the hydraulic down. Stop the generator, the stop force the shock button. Turn off the main breaker. Turn off the main breaker. For autom automatic transfer switch operation, if you are using your own power 240 in, open this box. Connect your power coming in on those lines. This is leg one, leg two. Neutral on that bar. Ground over to this bar and disconnect the bonding cable say again disconnect the bonding cable when you're using your own power once you are starting up your own power and you are bypassing the generator the, the position of the switch would drip from A to B and that's for what? It would be tripping from A to B automatically. You don't have to do anything. Uh, just put the power in, and when your generator is off and you want to transfer it to your own power, it would do that automatically. operate the breakers this is the off position that would be the on position if for some fault the breaker is tripped and you can just reset from the breaker box and put it on, on again when the whole system is down everything needs to be in off position right there the first four are the light uh, light breakers and the last one is for the air compressor. The air compressor breaker would be 30 amps and all of the other four would be 20 amps going to the light head. To change the breakers, get a big flat screwdriver. Open the box up. the lid out and just pull it on before doing that take the wire out and then pull it on replace with the second breaker to put it back again put the lower one first and stab it on. Once you replace the breaker, 
Put your lead back up there. So control box will have a 24 relay right there and one, one, 120 relay. To change the relay, let's check everything is off. Once it's off, pull that up and get it out. Before getting this out, take those wire out, all of the side, and then replace it with a new relay. If this relay goes out, same way, pull the yellow and take it out. Put back up. Just press it and it will go on the top. The LVD would show you the power on the battery, the voltage on the battery. So right now it's 12.7. If the battery voltage goes down, then it will cut off the whole power on the system uh, and you need to make sure that the battery is charged. Oops, sorry, oops, sorry. That's the low voltage disconnect. That is a fuse block in. Just to open the fuse block up, just press that, take it out. You can put the new fuse in that section over here. And then close it down. The relays for the lights and the air compressor are behind this. To open this up, use a 716 socket. You can also use a wrench, 716 wrench. Open up. this on the side those are the relays for the air compressor and the relays for the light mast if you need to change any of those relays just give me a second So to change the relays, take out the end blocks, you would need a small flats or a Phillips screwdriver. Take that out on the side. And then disconnect all the connections over here. and pull it out from the side. Get the new relay, put it from the side, push it all the way in, check for the wires, put the end stop,
and then put the connection so okay Once you are done with that, do that. Make sure to charge the batteries. It's always on 12 volt normal condition. This indicator would show you the amount of battery percentage. Right now it says 25% on the battery. Uh, to charge the battery up, turn on the generator and let it run. Turn the main breaker on at the back down on the air compressor switch once you do that you will be able to see a light over here and you, if it's in any other position if it's in any other position from here to there change back to 12 normal and let it charge Once it's more than 50%, you can restructure, uh, re reschedule your lim uh, light mast. To orient the light fixtures, there's three bolts right here you have to loosen up. They take three quarter inch wrenches. It, uh, this has all these positions that you can do it in. You have to pull this one completely out. on this side you have to pull this one completely out and this one you just have to barely loosen Placements. 
So if you want it all the way out, over here. Reinsert your screw. this one down to whatever direction you want it, you tighten, re tighten the three bolts in the center. That'll give you a 180 degree field of light. To adjust your air pressure going into your mast, you use this control right here. You, right now we have it set on 40 PSI. You don't want to go over 40 PSI, but this is how it's adjusted. To increase, you turn to the right. To decrease, you turn to the left. And that, that's what allows the air pressure to the mast. When the air compressor is running, the first pressure gauge signifies what is in the tanks. It will run up to 120 and then it will shut off. And then once the air pressure drops below 100, it will kick back on. And that's, that's the pressure that's in your tanks. To reset the air compressor breaker, the button it has a sticker right here showing you the location of it. You reach your hand up under here. Be sure to wear a glove if it's been running because it's right beside the exhaust which gets hot. And you just stick your finger up under here and hit that button and that will reset the breaker. This is your hydraulic pump right here and this is your hydraulic container. To add fluids, This is your dipstick. You're good if it is above this line. Add if it gets below this line. To add, just put a funnel in right here and add the fluid. Be sure to monitor that and do not let this get low. When servicing your, gener your generator, all your filters are located behind this panel. You have your oil filter right here. Here is your fuel filter. And right here is your air filter. You have a sticker right here which tells you all the accepted filters to use. There's two batteries. One is an external battery for your generator, which is located right here. 
there's four bolts to undo, remove the straps, disconnect, and change your battery. The other battery is located in your job box. It is right up under the battery charger. There's four bolts to undo, disconnect the battery, pull it out, and replace. There's two places to release air from your system. One is from your tanks. It has a valve right here. One more time. That is open and that is closed. The other place is at the base of the mine. You have a hole right here. And that's it. There's no way to mash that's gonna release right now. When you're changing the oil on the generator, you'll go into this panel. You'll need a pump and you can go stick a hose right into here and pump the oil, old oil out. Change the filter. Be sure and lube up the new filter and put it on. And this is where you add the oil back in. All is good. Then replace this.